Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metal. Good evening everyone. Friday Stand Firm is coming to you today live from... Fort Worth, Texas. I don't know how we got all the power in the state, but it's <laughs> pumping them out here tonight. And folks, I got a bail because I got a date with the center of the ring. Huge announcement coming for the JFW universe. I'm going to be out there. I'll see you soon. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. He's on his way. Rolling to the ring. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be very interesting. Huge announcement. <laughs> it is about ten steps out, but you know, um, here he is eventually. Hello, JFW Universe. How we doing tonight? My name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I have been asked to come out here to announce the long-awaited premise for our pay-per-view in just over a week's time. That's right, folks. One, and a half, one week and a couple days, our next JFW pay-per-view is coming to you live. Oh, you want to know what the name of it is, don't you? All right, well, I will tell you what the name of this pay-per-view is. It's going to be Night of Champions. That's right, folks. This pay-per-view is very special. Every single match will feature a title shot and a champion to win or lose, depending on how good they are. That's right, folks. Every belt will be on the line. We will have top contenders in the ring. And one more announcement for you just now. The WEM Dope Championship match coming to you at Night of Champions. Mr. E will be defending against not one, not two, not three. No, wait, three, because it's a four-way match. It'll be a four-way table. Elimination match, folks. That's right, Mr. E in a four-way table elimination match. And we are going to pick all four competitors for that match on the next, or excuse me, all three competitors for that match on the next three shows. Tonight, Claw, and next week, Stand Firm. And every single one of them will be the winner of a six-man over-the-top battle royal. So that's right, later tonight, you've already seen the card, six-man battle royale, I think, hopefully, <laughs> will be coming to you later tonight to determine who will get the first spot for the WEM Dope Championship, and that's about all I gotta say about that, folks, except for one more word, and that's, see ya! Well, unfortunately, Gorilla, um, I believe the booker who actually made the show, made it a four-man table elimination match because he didn't understand the premise. But, you know, there you go. What can you do? I thought we talked about this afterwards and you were going to change it, but I guess not. All no, I right, didn't change uh... it, no. <laughs> no, I didn't change it. <laughs> I'd done it, I'd done it, so it was, it was done, wasn't it? I thought you can't change the card. I guess card can be subject to change, can't it? So maybe I should have done But... Didn't. All right, well, we're just going to ignore that completely then. First up, we've got <laughs> the world champion, J I'm so mad at you, JBG with <laughs> literally Sean Bean in his corner against Gengar, 
with G'day Nick, of course. Later on tonight, we will see the leader of Six Feet Down Under in his own match, Gengar, coming out with G'day Nick. But uh, what's going on here? JBG not bringing his YPA tag team partner uh, out to ringside. Instead, going to uh, literally Sean Bean in the corner. Well, that, uh, that tells a bit of a story there. I know there's been some struggles for Foxamania in the last couple weeks. JBG definitely carrying the YPA. But uh, we'll have to see what's going on here. Hopefully for the champ, he can get a good match in against Gengar. Yep. And there he is, your world heavyweight champion, Jay BG, with literally Sean Bean. Coaching him tonight. Let's see how they do against the undead powerhouse Gengar. Amazing, isn't it? Sean Bean, unbelievable. Yeah, it seems like he has signed an extended contract with the JFW, making a lot more appearances than we ever expected uh, after his, uh, his holiday guest appearance on Christmas when he debuted. Let's see what he's got tonight, though. <laughs> oh, this is the six feet down under music. Ron and Gengars, because they are coming out as a tag team. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, Night Demon's music hitting, but that's kind of enveloped all of six feet down under. And there he is. The man, the man who almost murdered Frostlord Gadenek, going to call the shots tonight for Gengar. <laughs> we have seen Gengar struggle in the past without the presence of Night Demon. Will that be the case tonight against the world champ? Yeah, it'd be interesting. I mean, he's an absolute powerhouse, though, isn't he? So, yeah, can't but of course, him. yeah, it's hard. It is hard too. But of course, uh, 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 Night Demon has a big match himself, one on one against Flicky Flack later tonight. Both of those guys vying for that spot at Night of Champions could be both of them. For all we know, we do not know who will be facing the champion who's about to step in the ring against that monstrosity should be something yep. oh, thank you bezel for the predictions and things and here we go a big size advantage but not a quickness advantage but there's that power just punching right through jbg's punches but look at this inverted atomic drop and that seems to have staggered the big man Good start for JBG, but bad finish there <laughs> as he gets clobbered and dropped to the mat. Oh, but the jumping self-rock bottom has got control of this one. JBG is a world champion for a reason, and he's feeling it tonight. Oh, he missed, missed with that punch, though. Interesting bit of offense here by JBG, just trying to savagely do as much damage. Doesn't care how. Certainly not making it pretty, but he's laying into Gengar any which way he can. Yep, just laying the smack down. Going for the legs now. Take away that vertical base. Absolutely. As, a, a, as opposed to his horizontal base. <laughs> yep, hey. <laughs> JR well, that's when it. you get pinned, I suppose. I know, I know he does. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, Flicky. Oh, oh, but here we go, coming right back with his own clubbing blows. Gengar. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. bounces him off and into the powerbomb. He loves himself a powerbomb. 
innovative way to do it there. But look at JBG rushing him at the corner, but does not have the strength to get him up, but does have the speed to take him down there. And Sean Bean liking what he sees. <laughs> yeah, Bean loving it. Oh, the half Boston Crab locked in. Gengar right near those ropes. This is not an Extreme Rules match. So he could have grabbed the ropes, but instead just powers out. And now he's beckoning the champ to his feet. Oh, but he missed. Missed him wildly, and he's punched right in the corner. JBG putting up one hell of a fight here against the big Tomb Guardian. Yeah, this is a statement so far, isn't it? He is absolutely battling him. He sure is. Getting the full 10 count of punches there, allowed by the ref, and then drops him, coming right back in. And looking for a power bomb of his own. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's <laughs> feeling it tonight, folks. JBG on fire. Here comes a pinfall. Got him with the hard two count there. What a flurry by JBG. And now, oh. thinking about the good cutter to close this one out, that sure would be a dominant win. And there it is. JBG with Looks the gut like cutter. Could the uh, the woes of a uh, Night Demonless Gengar continue? Oh, he's no. Two and a half count kick out. The champ can't believe it. Gengar's still in this match. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lee Matt. He's, yeah, that's, this has been unbelievable stuff. From, uh, JBG, <laughs> Almost so. absolutely. JBG on fire. Another jumping <laughs> rock bottom. Self rock bottom. <laughs> All sorts of innovative ways to de deliver a rock bottom to yourself in the JFW. <laughs> yeah. Why well, don't even know what? Oh, he's just wrenching that knee again. This is pretty one-sided, isn't it? Sure is. And he really is. He really is, as you say, taking away that vertical base. Oh, I don't know what that was. Maybe think about going top rope. Maybe <laughs> not thinking about much at all. He's no, working himself. He's working up the courage. He's right in front of Gdanik. He thinks better of it. Smart move. And now he's just going to drop that wild elbow right into the sternum of Gengar. Power beam compels him. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, oh, but here we go. Him off. It's just, yeah, but no, JBG not letting him get in, an inch in there. Oh, well, oh, maybe boy. he's getting, uh, maybe he's going balls deep now. <laughs> Triple power bombs. Oh, boy. Hello, Satterfield. Oh, boy. Oh, Satterfield. <laughs> oh, huge. <laughs> no, I don't think we should have that as a thing. Oh, oh here God. we go. Big boot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Drops him. And the big leg drop to follow. What a comeback by Gengar. Massive power. And then we've seen him put lights out with this kick before. Oh, he oh, got him. This Catches him there. And the pin. This, Yeah, might have knocked the champ out here. He's got him. And <laughs> wow. And just like that. Unbelievable stuff. So dominant by JBG to start the match, but just gave uh, gave just a few a few moments to Gengar's offense, and that's all it took to put the champ out. And Sean Bean furious on the outside of the ring there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bean. I don't think Bean liked that at all. Yeah, you missed the complete opposite for the first five minutes of that match, Satterfield. Complete dominance by JBG. But Gengar closing it out and Sean being furious. All right, folks, it's the long-awaited matchup. Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher in the middle of the ring tonight. We guarantee, folks, we Jim guarantee that that is definitely going to happen. It's... Jim, I've been waiting months for this one. How about you? Oh, God, yeah. Actual months. I cannot wait for this match. Oh, Unbelievable boy. stuff. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's get to ringside, folks. Oh, God. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait a second. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a second. It's it's Lean Gary's attacking. He's attacking Elt Meme backstage. These two have a match next. They're supposed to be up next. And the fight spilling out backstage, folks. We're going to have to cut away from Marcel McDaniels 
to cover this because this is our two heads champion. One half of our two heads champs is in this one, taking it to Elp Meme backstage right now. What a dirty attack by Lean Gary. He's seen enough of EZ, I guess. Yeah, outrageous. Brexit means Brexit, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Holy crap. Well, here comes Elp Meme driving it back. And folks, I'm hearing in my ear right now, if you thought we were going to cut Marcel McDaniels, versus Crusher. You got another thing coming because I'm being told, folks, we are canceling the EZ versus Das Hats matchup that's happening next, and we are going to put on Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher. No ifs, ands, or buts, folks. Thank God for that. Loving it. <laughs> that's right. The swerve is on. Marcel and Crusher to a follow, but Lean Gary is taking it to Elp Meme backstage right now. Dangerous situation for one half of the two heads champion. Oh, oh, those what big flippers stomping him there. What a maneuver. Oh, he, he just kept hold of him too long, didn't he? Lean Gary yep. able to break free. That's always that's always the, uh, the the mistake people make. They just hang on to other men too long. <laughs> Got to know when to let go. That's very true. Yeah. Even if they go to some shit hole like Tampa Bay. Oh, oh look at this though. <laughs> Fuck you. I I'll leave, Jim. I'll leave. <laughs> sorry, I just, it was just appropriate. <laughs> Apologize. I'm Apologize. Sorry. No, I need a I need a full sentence apology. I'm and sorry. Lee Gary wins it. I'm sorry to Tom and to you. <laughs> right. Lee and Gary putting out Elp Meme after a savage attack, but their match was canceled for that. And now, folks, it's finally time. We're going right back to it. It's going to be Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher in the middle of the ring. Finally. Yes. I know, nothing can stop them now, folks. Here we go. Marcel versus Crusher, six months in the making. Here it comes. Oh, baby. Uh, oh, now, wait a second. And now it's, now it's <laughs> Oreo Lentz is going after humorous chimp backstage, having words. Unbelievable. Another ambush. Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, the, the two heads champs. Both of them instigating fights backstage against or, uh, against humorous chimp and help me. These two tag teams have this weird feud brewing. No one really can explain it, but it's actually put on some uh, <laughs> some uh, some some quality stuff. And here goes chimp taking it to Oriolensis backstage. And ah, oh, geez, folks, I'm hearing in my ear right now. I'm really sorry to announce that we're just gonna have to bump Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher for time. We'll get no. to it next week, I promise. But for, well, Jim promises, I make no promises. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to get to it eventually, but we gotta keep the, we gotta keep with the card here and we have to keep the cameras on one half of our two heads champions backstage right now. Oh man, what a tragedy. I know, absolute tragedy, but here we go. Oriolensis really going after humorous chimp, but chimp looking to battle back here, maybe get a one up uh, in vengeance for Elp Meme. Clear it out of that back hallway quick. This absolute country wizard. Yep. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 Oh, AJ Styles sent running there. <laughs> Fucking hell, <ouch. laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> he does look like a what's it, doesn't he? What's a what's it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, like a kind of crisp type thing that you get in England. Okay. Is it but, like a like a fucking Cheeto? It looks like a Cheeto to me. Yeah, I guess it's like a Cheeto, yeah. Oh, oh look out! 
unprotected headshot there with the chair absolutely <laughs> drilled him and that might have spelled disaster for chimp here oh he's not moving well <laughs> not moving well <laughs> that could have been the difference maker yeah he's got a big bruise forming on his face oh wait no that's just his face <laughs> Blue head master race. Oh, glorious Mrs. Wanger. That's, that's a much better username. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> glorious. Is that, is that just Wanger or is that actually Wanger's wife? That is actually Mrs. Wanger, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure. Well, I, well, I, well, I'm told you're a very lucky lady, so... <laughs> And Jim taking it to Oriolensis here. Oh, look at this. Oh, Whoa. Death Valley driver on the pavement. Didn't oh, put him man. out. Maybe another to follow. No. Sends him flying. Oh, boy. And now Chimp in control stalking in on Oriolensis, who's writhing in pain on the ground. Oh, but the. Oh, but Dodge's quickness from the old man there. Yeah. And the suplex? Yep, yeah, big suplex. Oh, look out, Chimp! Oof. Thought he got him with that. The wily old veteran, Oriolensis. Oh, Oriolensis working his shoulder out, thinking about what to do. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Drives his elbow into the bridge of his nose there. <laughs> Oriolensis has been pretty dumb, hasn't he? This <laughs> <laughs> He stands there waiting to be hit. Well, here we go. He's back in charge now. Oh, side rushing leg sweep. And just throttling Chimp on the ground. I think both <laughs> these men are seconds from passing out in this one. Yep. Oh, the knee stop. We've seen this in backstage brawls before. <laughs> I can't believe it. He thought he had him. He's beckoning him to get up now. No, he steps on his dick <laughs> and drops the big wizard's elbow. Straight into the dick stump there. Yeah. No hesitation. No, none at all. <laughs> and now, Chimp, a bad night for EZ, it looks like. Chimp needs to get up and keep fighting or he's going to be put out real quick. Yeah, this is looking real bad. Oh, God, oh. no, there's a counter, counter on by Chimp. And here's his chance! Oh. Sends him right into the wall! Here comes Chimp! It's <laughs> a good question, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and now, oh, Chimp making that same mistake again, though. Walking him too far, gets elbowed and countered by the country wizard. Oh, this could be it, this. And Yep, pile driver, oh. that's got to be it. That's got to be it. Oh, it no. took a lot out of Oriolensis, too. Oriolensis to his feet. Unbelievable. And uh, this one's going to continue. Oh, Ori, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sends him into the wall there. <laughs> and stomps right on the back of his neck. Ouch. And now Oriolensis. Oriolensis, though, with that uh, with that 150,000 Cyan Dream, might not have a good shot at putting him out backstage with a big move. It's mm. a good point. It's a good point. He needs a high impact maneuver. I thought the power yeah, drive was going to do it. But... And his other big one's that fall away elbow from the turnbuckles. Don't think he's going to do that. Oh, another Death Valley driver! Chimp in control now. Dropped him on his damn head and then sends him the away from anything that could have hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> could have just put him up. Oh, Chimp doing the double the double jerk offs. <laughs> Classic. Oh, he's looking. To oh, end it. he sure is. Chimp, here comes Chimp. <laughs> I thought he was gonna try and pin him. <laughs> oh. The power bomb. He's got it. Chimp. They've split it tonight backstage, folks. Chimp <laughs> picking up a huge win for EZ. And uh, unfortunately for all of us, I think that means that feud is going to continue. <laughs>
And now it's time, folks, the two viable contenders for the World Heavyweight Championship. It's Flicky Flack versus Night Demon. Le Red Mask. It's going to be out there in Flicky's corner. And, of course, the big boss himself, Mr. Jim McMahon, part of the Unholy Alliance, going out there with Night Demon. Oh, boy. Glorious time in Night Demon. Hello. Be, be right back. I got to refill my water. Hey, Night Demon. Okie dokie. Yeah, this is a match. Wrestling match. Both be wrestling. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. The old twat there is Mr. Jim McMahon, the billionaire owner of the company. Oh, that's not how you get yourself up the, uh, up the card, humorous Jim. <laughs> yeah. Very true, TML. <laughs> oh, and uh, thankfully, because LeBred Mask is coming out with Flicky, we're getting the plain white toast entrance instead of Flicky Flax entrance. Oh, yeah. Glorious. What is what is his name? The announcer name for Flicky? Funky Dave? Oh, oh it's uh, Funky Think. Funky. <laughs> Jeez. I've yeah. never noticed that before. Yeah. A oh, Funky Think, yeah, Funky Think, yeah, something like that. It, it's hard it was hard to get something like Flicky Flack. <laughs> so yeah, Funky Think. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a real loss. Well, Glorious. you know, JBG had a no, rough I loss earlier tonight to Gengar. Gonna be watching this one intently I backstage. Defend. I will defend. Glorious. Also, 11 months of the Glorious JF. Good lord, really, Night Demon? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very oh, much, Night Demon. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. <laughs> yeah, <you're> good man. <laughs> yeah, Bezel. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Nearly three well, that, gold that's, pregnancies. That's not really true because I guess it was the end of March that we started the wrestling stuff. Yeah, to be yeah, fair, we, it was like the beginning of March is when lockdown started. Yeah. Yeah, and when you resub, it's like it does the next one. Like you know, when you resub for two months, yeah. it's only thirty days, isn't it? So it's. Uh, Right. It is more the eleventh month of JFW, but uh, yeah, still awesome. Here we go, big man versus big move. <laughs> <laughs> and Flicky using his power to control Night Demon in the ring. Ref gonna have to separate these two in the corner there. Flicky feeling it tonight. <laughs> oh, look, right back in on him. Flicky not fucking around. <laughs> Hello, women. And Jim's, uh, Jim's may, may be looking at that, thinking if he bet on the wrong horse here. He did have a little bit of an agreement with Flicky a few weeks ago uh, with that backstage attack, that opportunistic attack by Flicky, but it never really paid out. And uh, Jim's obviously going into his unholy alliance shortly after that. Kind of left Flicky in the lurch. Flicky, though, has claimed, oh, nice hip throw there has claimed that that World Heavyweight title is his destiny, and he wants it, and he'll do anything to get it. Oh, my goodness! Whoa, whoa, what a maneuver by Night Demon. Never seen that one before. It was like a modified go to sleep. Crazy stuff. Whoa. 
And Flicky coming right back from it. Wow, I thought he was going to get knocked out by that move. That was a huge maneuver. Really good. And now, nice oof, underhook suplex there. And Night Team, you don't want him to start heating up because as soon as he does, you're going to get zombied and put out. Yep. Only a one count on that one, and he's got to have known Flicky's going to kick out a kick out of that one early. Yeah, yeah. I don't really understand why they go for these early pins, but there you go. Maybe just trying to get some kind of psychological yeah. thing, or I don't know. Maybe. Well, speaking of psychological, he was looking him right in the eyes as he grabbed him there, coming over to this oof sidewalk neck or backbreaker. Oh. Another one. Drops him limp. Flicky getting dominated right now. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted to lie on top of him. You know? skin Maybe. Skin. Oh, my goodness. Another pin coming. This one might be a little more effective. Oh. Two count kick out. Flicky has to get something going because you know you're only seconds away from a zombie. Oh, yeah. Hello, Lemon. Oh, speaking of, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? It might be. Oh. Now he kicked out. Flicky able to kick out. Oh, my goodness. The very <laughs> next move. Maybe I have the power to grant him zombies. Maybe, it seems yeah. like that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. Though, Night, yeah, Night Demon. Tearing like, apart Flicky Flack here. Trying to tire him out with a pin there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. One sec. Oh, well, here's a fucking choke slam. No, no, it's just a huge. Oh, God, what a move. Military pressing the likes into the slam. Unbelievable. The power of Flicky Flack and also teleportation ability. And a good job that's, that Gorilla is away from the keyboard here as we have the most thrilling move in the whole of sports. Yeah. But now here comes the Flack Hammer. Oh my god, can he win it here? What a huge win this will be for Flicky if he gets the win. There's the Flack Hammer. Is this it? The Bread Mask loving it. Oh, he gets the shoulder off. All right, back. Sorry, my dogs were about to kill my fiance when she was trying to come in from the snow. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> you missed an old school, which I'm sure you're very happy about. No, <laughs> well, I missed nothing is what it sounds like. <laughs> and then a flat Flicky hammer. Flicky flack. Which, uh, coming which... back, though. He hit a flack hammer, huh? Yeah, he hit a flack hammer. Night Demon kicked out. And there's the, there's the comeback. What a spine buster. Huge comeback by Flicky Black here. This is exactly what you want to see. Uh, oh, fuck off. This isn't what you want to see. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> both these guys. Oh, there's, oh, the there's another zombie. There's the zombie. Well, I was going to say, both these guys saying they have what it takes to contend for that out. world title, and he's kicked out again. I stand by my statement. Both these men vying for that title and making one hell of a case for themselves. Oh, fuck off, Night Demon. <laughs> Night Demon making less of a case for himself there. <laughs> oh, God. It's like PTSD whenever you see it, isn't it? <laughs> I actually hate the old school more than I hate that. <laughs> no, Dude, that's not well. true. No, it's not true. Oh, Dretch Muffler. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't actually oh, hate the zombie he's... that much, but the, that fucking that fucking comeback, man. Yeah, I, I like the zombie. It's, the zombie is fine. Yeah. Oh. Two count again. Flicky staying in it. We did see signs of resiliency from him last time he competed as well. <laughs> oh, another zombie. That's, That's got to be it. No! Oh, my God. He's kicked out again. What the hell? Flicky Ooh. Flack. Flicky Flack is inking his contract for a, uh, an appearance at Night of Champions. 
Yeah. And, uh, well, I gotta believe Night Demon's already got that because he's got the boss in his corner. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff by Flicky Flack, but he still needs to get some offense going here to get back in this match. <laughs> yeah, breaking daddy absolutely is, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. One of the rare one of the rare JFW superstars that is more <laughs> badass in real life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, kicks out again. What is he gonna do to put this guy away? Ooh. Now here comes Flicky Flack like a freight train into that corner, and he sets him up and drops him down. Big kick to the chest there. Nice. Flicky, duh, hopeful pin here. He's gonna no. <laughs> oh, two and a half count. Maybe not as hopeful as I thought. He does have a lot of power to lock in those pins, though. Oh boy, he's going for the spear. Oh, he sure is. Flicky Flack coming like a freight train. Here it is. <laughs> Nails him! Spear! <laughs> and the pin, that could be it! No! Two count kick out again! What a barn burner! My god. Night Demon has to roll out of the ring to get himself recombobulated. It seems to have paid off though. Huge <laughs> suplex lifts him up again. Twists down, and here comes Night Demon. Are we going to see another? Oh, I thought we were going to get another Zombie for a second there. <laughs> yeah. He's going to do this instead. Flips him over, flaps him down. And here comes a pin. Look this out, Flicky it, Flack. Know. Yeah, it's so and much that was, That's going to do it. Flicky Flack really put on a show, but he could not outlast the undead maestro. Night Demon getting the win. Night Demon surely coming for JBG's title. We'll see what Flicky Flack can do. That was a hell of a performance from Flicky, though, wasn't it? It sure was. I mean, it, you know, he's walking away a loser, and he looks frustrated. Oh, you can see it in his eyes every fucking time. But <laughs> there he goes. We'll have to see what is in store for JBG and the world title at Night of Champions in a week and a couple days. Oh, yeah. All right, and now it's time. Four-man table elimination match. The winner of this match will claim the first of three spots to challenge Mr. E in a table elimination match at Night of Champions. Yep, a bit of a, a, a fuck-up from our... Uh... There's no point Timothy. in pointing it out any further at this point. Okay, but there you go. This is it. It looks it looks good, though, doesn't it? All streamers. <laughs> they all coincidentally stream Blood Bowl. <laughs> can, can you really call what Fall Force does with Blood Bowl on streaming Blood Bowl? Can you really call what he does wrestling? <laughs> Fair. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big ham himself back in action. It's been a while. The ginger bastard Elio. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Flicky bet against himself. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Suspense is coming. Here we go. <laughs> and first one out the door, Elliot, former plump, plump loser weight <laughs> champion. We've moved on from this shenanigans, though. <laughs> oh, God. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny. Well, aren't you in for, I'd say a treat, but that's not the word we want here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Baby Johnny. <laughs> yeah. The, f the funniest thing is he tried to do an Irish accent on stream and he was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, he couldn't even do a comedy one. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, well, it's less of an abomination than this. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, I haven't seen this in a while. Oh, well, glad to have you back, Breaking Dead. Yeah, absolutely, Breaking Dead. I was just thinking about you the other day. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, I think he's abandoned us. <laughs> <laughs> ham fucks. <laughs> I bet you've got the, sh the, the rude ham clip saved, haven't you, Shawnee? <laughs> <laughs> the game wouldn't allow for any more Satterfield. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Breaking Dad. <laughs> Jim, check your, uh, check your Discord real quick. Oh, I can answer this in the best way. All right, way. next up. Calcium Kaz coming out to Otter Oil's music. <laughs> that threw me off for a second there. He's all business tonight. Table elimination is all about the brutality. <laughs> good, good answer, Jim. Got that there, sorted. See, clever. Clever, Jim. Right. Yep, I won't type anything else, or you'll probably read it by accident. <laughs> <laughs> it just ends the promo. Good job, Jim. <laughs> I mean, what promo? No mercy. Here he is. <laughs> the most dangerous man in the JFW. Unless you're wrestling him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes Volcayo, the man of a million chances, has yet to capitalize on any of them. <laughs> but he's got, he's got to, his hips don't lie, folks. <laughs> so whatever they're telling you, it's the damn truth. From the Virgin Eyes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did he choose that or did you? I just, I just did it. <laughs> 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 oh dear. He could do with a rebrand, couldn't he, maybe? I think he's perfect the way he is. He could yeah. do with a better move set, I guess, because he hasn't won a match. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is a table elimination match. If you're new to the wrestling world, <laughs> welcome aboard. This is going to be a wild one. If you're put through a table, you are eliminated. Last man standing. We'll go. The Night of Champions. <laughs> Fucking Fall Force. <laughs> Fall Force might just slip off the table if he gets. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Skuro did the other night. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh dear. <laughs> he could, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me, I've got my one bag of Cadbury mini eggs that I'm allowed a year. Oh, nice. I know. Otherwise, I'd just buy them for four months straight when they're on the shelves in America. <laughs> so I'm allowed one, one bag a year that I have to portion. <laughs> I have to do that to myself with white twixes, otherwise I'd eat them just continuously forever. <laughs> Cadbury mini eggs are like my favorite candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, Carl's here. Oh, just... <laughs> Carl's here just attacking oh, the man. In a rage. Beating him like a red-headed stepchild because he knows how to beat up kids. <laughs> It could last a while, yes, I told you. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, 100% Lean Gary. Although, to be fair, all of the most embarrassing entrances were like specific requests <laughs> of the people who make those entrances. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> And there is a setup table there. Look out, Volcayo. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oof. Yeah, like it doesn't matter where the table is, does it? If you go, it doesn't have to be in the ring. If you go through that table, it's GG. Uh, yeah, no, they're they're just American. I think they're from America. Um, I've had both, um, and you are correct. They are better in the UK. Um, these are. Yeah, these are these are Hershey. These are made from Hershey in Pennsylvania. They're Holy still good though, but they're not they're not as good as British uh, British Cadbury. God, this is incredible. If fucking calcium has been on one, he's annihilated. Fault force here. Absolutely. I mean, if you get to take if you get to tee off on fault force without the cops being called, <laughs> you're gonna take advantage of that. Oh, half Nelson <laughs> suplex by Elliot. <laughs> Oh god. Well just <laughs> thrown out the ring. Uh Auntie, that was the uh that was uh Rudeham's entrance was the Funkadactyls. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately that will forever be Rudeham. <laughs> yeah, that was Shawnee Shawnee and Fault Force. <laughs> the problem is I hate looking at Fault Force so much. That we don't get to use them all that much. <laughs> um, so I don't think we'll ever do a reunited story. The <laughs> 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 ginger ninja. <laughs> <Taking Ginger. out. laughs> the big himself in action. He's like a glazed ham, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he really is. It would be good if the guys that had oil all over their bodies left streaks on the mat. Oh god, could you imagine? That? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice counter from Calcium. Oh, Indeed. Oh, him. look at that. Looked like he was setting up a Kinshasa, but he caught him in the gut instead of the head. Calcium absolutely dominating. No one has even bothered with the table thus far. <laughs> no. No, they haven't. Have Maybe the match is broken and this is going to go on forever. <laughs> nope. Calcium proven me wrong. <laughs> Not the so first silly. time Calcium proved me wrong. I once said he was going to kick my ass in the <laughs> SFL finals. And, uh, oh. That definitely, he definitely proved me wrong there when he lost to me horribly. <laughs> God. That was horribly predictable, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That was, that was the second win I ever had of the SFL, or excuse me, of, of the SFL, you know, making me the uh, two-time, the winner three and the winner five. You believe, though, the Gorilla, you're, we don't, you're confused we don't need to go into that's that Skiro here. Metzl you know, that's won that, that, not you, Gorilla Metzl, so I don't know what you... All right, all right. Know. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Tom Schmitz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, settle down. Settle down, Skurro. We got to keep kayfabe here. <laughs> oh, look out. Volcayo sent into that table. Here comes, here comes another one. Bouncing him off the table is not broken, though. <laughs> what it's Shawnee, it's no longer the Shawnee Football League, it's the Scaramezzo Football League. You gotta understand. God, he's he's really going for, for him here, but he can't get anything he can't get him, can he? Oh now he's he just, just gonna can't seem to get an angle on him. No. 
Oh dear. Oh, the table's <laughs> bouncing all over the ring. Whoa! A wild knee. Missed from there with the. Misses. Yeah, missed the flying knee. <laughs> oh, Volcayo trapped in the corner there. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a disaster. If only this had been a battle royal, folks. Yeah, it'd be much better than if it had been a six man battle <laughs> yeah, royal. Sure, sure would have. <laughs> but we've, we've had table matches. Uh, Table matches have certainly uh, rewarded us in the past. Uh, yeah. Both Marcel McDaniels flying from the top rope for an elimination <laughs> and Scuro doing the same yeah. last week. Yeah. <laughs> Made up for the stupidity of the matches. <laughs> I think they work better as triple threats than uh, four ways, though. Yeah. I think, uh, I believe Fault Falls is paler. I believe Fault Falls <laughs> yeah. is the palest. I have to let it dug in. <laughs> <laughs> the boiled egg. <laughs> the boiled egg fault falls. Oh boy, look at this. Oh god, doesn't break the table though. Oh, oh the soft rock bottom again. <laughs> Can't see with another wild attack. No eliminations yet in this table match, but Cal or, uh, Fault Force grabbing a table, bringing it in the ring now. Elliot's got a table in hand. Look out. Look out, Vokayo. <laughs> Kelsey got oh, another one. Kelsey, we're going to have fucking warring tables here. <laughs> Oh, Elliot was not paying attention. That third table is going to break everything in the game right now. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had three tables at once. I don't think we have, no. Jesus. <laughs> Ah, uh, Volcayo had him on the table. The table doesn't break because it's not set up. <laughs> Put it in the goddamn corner, Volcayo. Good lord, man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, dear God. What a disaster. The longest match in JFW history coming, coming at you live. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be when Jim's going to have to figure out how to put someone through a table to end this match. <laughs> it might have to be. <laughs> Rebel's Revenge! <laughs> Rebel's Revenge. <laughs> oh, God. El or, uh, <laughs> Fault Force just rolled through Elliot. Elliot bleeding. Bleeding profusely. Absolutely. Oh, Kelsey. oh Kelsey, what are you doing, man? Kelsey Hellman picks it up. Why, what are you doing, Fultz? Why? <laughs> I don't think anyone thought. I think they thought they were in a fucking over-the-top battle royale for some reason. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he rolls out and takes it out. Oh, dear, folks. <laughs> Oh my good lord. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Hooks onto the rope there to prevent the suplex and then counters it. Oh, Elliot, the only man standing now, uh, no tables set up at all though. Oh, big boot from Big Ham. <laughs> Elliot takes the table with him. Oh, what a fucking forearm from the uh, calcium. Uh. <laughs> Volk going for a table, maybe? Yes, he is. He is. Can, can he, he finally uh, can set he... it up? Will he set it up properly? No. no. No, he won't. Zero interest in going through the table. Nice suplex there, though. <laughs> calcium rolls out of the ring. Volcayo going right after Elliot there. And getting himself scoop slam. No, getting oh, himself tombstone tombstoned by Fall Force. Will Fall Force set up a table? He looks yes. like he will. No. This will be the one way that I'll ever Glorious. root for Fall Force if he no, doesn't I throw that table out the ring. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> so far, and so I good. Defend. Ah! <laughs> I will defend. Oh, my God. Glorious, thank you very much, Breaking Dad. 
And it's a stern fantastic for nearly three who will be the pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it, the Ingari? Pretty good moveset for Calcium. Oh my god. Oh, back backstabber by Calcium there. Really got to set that table up, though, buddy. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think we have the capacity to intervene, JBG. Yeah, that's the problem, JBG. I've never having played this game before or knowing any of the controls. Yep. It'd be just oh, as, look at this. It'd take just as long and be just as funny. <laughs> oh, what a maneuver. Oh, absolutely glorious maneuver there, but it wasn't through a fucking table. <laughs> Maybe now. No. Come on, Fall Force. I think we just got to put one person out and then the... The ball will get rolling. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> End the turn, for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! I mean, it's been a hell of a match, isn't it? It's just they seem to be completely ignoring the tables. It's not like it's 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 not yep. an end the turn situation. It's been oh. an incredible match. Sure, sure has. <laughs> It's just, it's just worrying that they've shown absolutely zero interest in, in tables. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Calcium's got it. He's lined up. There we go. Set it up. Here we go. No. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Now set it up. In a yes. corner. Or in the middle of the ring. Middle of the ring's fine too. Good. No. Volcayo. Volcayo, no. God damn it. <laughs> oh, he counters him. Oh, boy. Alright, get Fall Force and put him through the fucking table. <laughs> oh, Fall Force oh, might fall put Calcium force. through it. Fall Force! Oh, Fall Force! Oh, God, He's choke got some. him! Choke slam through the table! Here he oh, goes! fucking <laughs> Volk! <laughs> Fucking Volk, you penis! Calcium! Somebody! Oh, fucking somebody! Elliot, yes! Yeah. Oh, Christ! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. <laughs> I take Elliot. it back! This is the best match in JFW history! <laughs> he just broke him in half! <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable! <laughs> oh, okay. oh, my goodness! That was outrageous! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was outrageous, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Calcium might be joining six feet down on him. He might be, might he? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, we, we do need another table in the match. <laughs> Where'd Volcayo <Yeah>. go? <laughs> I think he's mostly oh, dead, to be fair. <laughs> It just disintegrated. <laughs> oh boy. Nice move from Fort Fort. Oh, Volcayo grabbing another table here. Now he's all business. He's got a shot. He's got a real shot at this one. Oh, oh Arc Play oh, out of nowhere. Mm, he's going too fighty fighty when he should be going setty up terribly. Yeah, I know. Fucking Elliot's beast and fall force here. Just quietly. Sure is. And here we go, Volcayo. Big back body drop there, and he's going for that table. He is on a mission, folks. Oh boy. He is on a goddamn mission. Sets the table up in the corner, going after Elliot. Could this be it for Elliot? Look out. Nope. Nope. A bit of a power slam there, power bomb. <laughs> Yep. Here we go, sending him into that table doesn't yep, break, this could but be he's it. leaning precariously against it. Oh, just the chop. Big chop by Volcayo. Drops him, he's going to put him right back up and maybe through it. Here comes Fault Force. 
<laughs> and uh, another chop to Elliot against that table. Oh, oh look out, Volcayo! Got caught, got caught out by Fall oh, Force, and this go. is gonna do it. This is gonna do it for Volcayo. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And that Volcayo gone uh, as focused as anyone in the match, and we're down to uh, the boiled egg versus the uh, fucking leprechaun. <laughs> Dude. And Surely here it comes, and then now he's all business. Yourself. Sets that table up just fine. Look out, Elliot. Oh, he's got mm -hmm. him. He caught him off, though. And Elliot going to slam him into that table, maybe? No, no, he's not going to do anything. Elliot's your gun show. Oh, look out. Folk Forest bringing him over to that table now. Setting him oh, up on it. And slam. this could be it. This could be it. He's got him for the choke slam. Oh, he missed. It didn't break. It didn't break. <laughs> the table did not break. He only hit the corner of it. And the table did not break from the choke slam. He's going to have to set it up again. Elliot's still alive somehow. Does he have enough in him to counter? Oh, he he does. Him. He ducks under. Oh. oh, but he doesn't have the power to send him into the table. This is incredible. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this Take is it. Take two. Going to the power bomb this time. And That's I fine. think... Oh. Fault Force. Oh, barely. He almost missed it. <laughs> Fault Force is going to Knight of Champions. He is Mr. E's first competitor. God damn it. <laughs> What a performance from Fault Force. That was a hell of a performance, wasn't it? Absolutely incredible. Fault Force getting the big win, punching his ticket to the next pay-per-view. Fault Force will be competing for the Wem Dope Championship at Night of Champions. <laughs> the boiled egg himself. <laughs> Absolutely. What a match, folks. And now it is going to be time for your main event of the night. The Plim Plum Pluser Weight Championship is on the line. We've got Just Joe who won his way into this match against Pop Piccolo, the dominant Plim Plum Pluser Weight himself. Should be a wild one. And we are going to get to ringside in just a minute for your main event of Friday. Stand firm. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, wait. Now, wait a second. That's that's literally Sean Bean. He's looking pissed off, and he's heading into the ring right now. What is Sean Bean doing in the ring right now? He's calling for a mic. Oh my god, Sean Bean has got some words for the JFW universe. Yup, JFW universe. I am absolutely sick to death of seeing my great county of Yorkshire continually embarrassed by these two jokes of wrestlers. Foxamania, the bastard. He's been a disgrace since losing the title. And JBG seems to be buckling under the weight of carrying the YPA for the last month. Well, I tell you what, here's what's going to happen. In a minute. <laughs> that is simply I, not true. Sean Bean, I'm going to add myself to the Extra Arms Belt Championship match at Night of Champions. The JFW needs a celebrity face like mine to lead them to the next level. One does not simply go to the main event, but I do. You fucking bastards. The EAB belt will once again be carried by a proud Yorkshireman. Me, Sean Bean, 100% blade. So look out, try, and fuck some mania. I suggest getting the fuck out of my way. Because at Night of Champions, I'm returning to the ring, and I'm going to win that title. 
for Yorkshire. And I'm going to bring the party back to Bean Manor. See ya. Uh, see wow. Ya. <laughs> Literally, Sean Bean using his celebrity status and his extended contract to add himself to the main event of Night of Champions for the extra arms belt champions. That's two Yorkshiremen against one probably dead Texan right now who's freezing in the dark somewhere for the extra arms belt championship. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> and now it's Plim Plum Pluser Weight time, folks. Just Joe gonna challenge Papa Piccolo for the Plim Plum Pluser Weight Championship. <laughs> Oh yeah, and, if, be and if nothing else happens tonight, at least we're getting an absolutely glorious Just Joe entrance. The solo Just Joe entrance. We don't see it enough, folks. And you gotta always look forward to that one. Glorious. Right, here we go. Say that. Yeah, I think. Here we go. H Hello, Kingslayer. I, I can I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have you blocked. <laughs> I am in the top one. Here we go, folks. The entrance of a lifetime. <laughs> oh wait a second. This isn't the normal Just Joe entrance. Come on, Joe. Give it to us. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Just Joe. Coming out for his title shot. Wait. Whoa. Wait a second. That's Tony plays poorly. At least he let us get the entrance. I didn't think he would. <laughs> <laughs> Running down Just Joe with a steel chair. Tony plays poorly, has been on a rampage against his former partners of Mighty AF. <laughs> going after the pegger himself, <laughs> Just Joe. Yep. <laughs> I legitimately was setting that up, assuming that Tony was going to ruin the entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, I thought he would as well, but thank God he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and oh Tony boy. really taking it to uh, to Just Joe. Oh. This is a scary situation there. He put him, put that pretty face right into the ramp, and folks, I think Joe or Tony plays poorly. Needs uh, medical attention there. And I, excuse me, Just Joe needs medical attention there. And folks, I. I think that's going to have to scrap our main event for the night. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear it. But, folks, that's going to have to do it for Friday. Stand firm. Oh, more on that to come. I don't think we've seen the end of Just Joe. Tony plays poorly and Frost Lord and probably Clavius for uh, Mighty AF there. But that is going to do it for Friday. Stand firm. As always, my name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me. As always, Jim, I will see you all on Monday Night Claw. Yes, glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla, as always. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>